Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash Show, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. Hello, Maria. Hello, Valder. How Good are to you? talk to you. Thank you for I'm joining fine. us Thank here you. live in Dallas, you. Texas on the Valder Beebe Show. Good to talk to you. It's good to talk to you. I'm very uh, enamored by you. Um, the things that you've done on Univision, but now you're coming to Investigation Discovery. And you've got, you know, your, the debut of your world premiere news magazine, The Real Story, and you're an Emmy Award journalist. Would you tell us about this? this phenomena that's going to be, you know, coming to our screens in a little while. Or it's already here. Well, I'm very, very, I'm very, very excited about this series. This is the first time uh, that I have a project like this out of Spanish language media. Uh, to me, I, well, I grew up in California um, speaking English and Spanish. It's um, bilingual or sometimes Spanglish. So it, it's, a, it's a natural for me to be able to work in, in both languages. And it's a privilege for me to be able to have a whole hour to tell a story. Uh, those of us who work in television know that it's always very quick and that we only get 30 second sound bites sometimes to provide. So the way that you do a story justice, I think, is by giving it more time. It's by also digging deep and trying to find evidence and, and, and information that maybe was not provided before. In other words, getting the story behind the story. So I'm very excited to have this opportunity and very excited for, for, for this episode that will be airing on, on June 5th at 10 o'clock at night. I called it a phenomenon because you're telling the story behind the story, and that seems to be, you hit upon that, that seems to be something we're lost. You know, we get the headlines, we get the quick bites, but we don't really get the story. Could we choose one of your stories, such as the Pulse nightclub, and just talk about that a little bit? I, I, I learned things I had no idea was going on. <clears throat> exactly. I think that, you know, there's always a story behind the story. There's always someone that saw something that didn't speak out. Uh, there's always uh, something that maybe was hidden in some kind of evidence because the authorities didn't want that information to, to come out. Uh, so that's why it's important to dig deep and find this information to provide it um, uh, for these types of shows. In, in the case of the Pulse nightclub, maybe it's a little bit different than some of the other real crime stories that are part of this uh, series. Uh, this is a, a program that is divided into two parts. One of them is the very compelling uh, narrative of these three survivors uh, from that horrible night. Uh, and they talked to us about the hell that they went through and how they went out that night um, to have a good time and uh, wanted to end their night in the place that they considered to be the most fun in Orlando and ended up living a night of horror. And they tell us in detail, firsthand, everything that happened from the moment that they arrived at this uh, nightclub uh, to when they heard the first shots to how they didn't know where the other one was, even though they ended up being in the same bathroom stall, uh, what they thought the motivation was uh, in the beginning. And they, of course, thought that it was just a, a quarrel between two lovers and that that was it and that it would end. Uh, they never imagined that this would uh, prolong uh, for hours and hours and hours and how difficult it would be for the authorities, uh, for the first responders, to be able uh, to save them, to... Uh, to protect them, to take them out of that place uh, so that to save their lives. Now, the other section is uh, a gentleman that I spoke to um, almost a year ago for Univision uh, who did not want to be identified, uh, but told us that he had been Omar Mateen's gay lover. And he tells us why he thinks that 
maybe it was revenge and not necessarily terrorism that motivated him to commit this massacre. Now for the real story, he's willing to reveal his identity. Uh, we will see his face. We will know his name. You've given us a, a, an insider's look that most of us only saw the headlines. We saw someone kill people in a nightclub. We thought how awful it was. And we went on about our lives. It's coming up on the anniversary of the Pulse nightclub. Thank you for telling such a compelling story, and thank you for the details that you've added. I look forward to seeing you. I've watched you in Spanish, and I don't speak a bit of Spanish, and I've watched you in Spanish. This is how good you are. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much, Waldo. I appreciate it. No problem. On Investigation Discovery, when does your new show air? Well, we've already started, and it's, um, it airs on Mondays at 10 p.m. All right. Well, we will be there, and I want my audience to be there so we can talk about how great you are. You're just a terrific. If, if I sound like, you know, I'm enamored by you, I am. I'm, I'm enamored with your grace and your fluency of words in both languages. And thank you for being on the Valder BB Show. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate your time.